Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we've got a system from the user Delta today, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. And all they've put is space is cool I think, so I do think they're correct. Uh, but yeah, all they have, uh, that's all they've said, so without further ado, let's hop straight into the system. It should already be on the workshop ready to go and there it is. So let's have a look. Oh, taking some loading time, that usually means there's a lot of stuff. Added a lot of stuff. Okay, right, so here we are. So no description this time, so we can really explore it however we wish. So here you go. So there's a lot of things. Okay, so the star itself. So Shrafus here, I hope I'm saying that right. So a little smaller than the sun in mass, same radius. Very less luminous though. Okay, so maybe more of an orange dwarf kind of sort of star, but only it's less roughly the same mass though, so I'm not really sure how you'd class that, but there you go. So star Right, first of the planets here, we've got Rion. Okay, here we go. Got some city lights as well. Very, very nice. Okay, got a moon as well. Looking good. Ready. Okay, moving on. So we've got this one, Philia. Oh, look at all that behind there. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Right, there we are. Then this one's got a moon as well. Cool. Looking good. Area over here. Looks great. So there it is, an Earth like world. Got a bit of a two tone atmosphere going on there as well. Very nice. We can see, obviously, stat wise. Let's look at its uh, zone. So we've got also very high uh, ratings there 95 and 77. Looking good. And then moons. Pretty uh, bog standard looking moons. There you go. Okay. Cool. We've got Aries over here. Looking good as well. Slightly green atmosphere on here already. Okay. Then we've got some moons. Looking good. Small green one there, check that out, okay. And then one more moon here. All got custom names as well, Calcimede. <laughs> Next planet out. Oh yeah, okay. Lots of city lights on there, very, very nice as well. Next up we've got this one, there's an asteroid belt as well as you can see. We've got a, looks like an all ocean world, this one actually. Very dark though, but very heavy ocean, 24 degrees Celsius on it. Oh, it's got an enormous moon there, look at the size of that. It's quite a large moon in comparison to parent planet Earth. You can see they're very, very, very similar in size there, okay. Next up we've got Moth over here. First of the gas worlds. Very nice ring system going on here, but still that massive thing over there. I'm definitely keen to see what that's all about. I think it's a second star. Then we've got moons. So it looks to be all fairly... Charon there, look at that, hey. Custom Charon there, okay. And the other moons look all fairly normal. Looks like they're all just... Yeah, they're all just random spawns. Okay, cool. Next up, we've got a uh, mollusk over here. Cool. You can see the custom ones are the ones with the coloured trails. So there they all are there. Looking good. Shellian over here. Very nice. The rest are all, yeah, they all look like random spawns. Okay. Then we've got this one here oh yeah There's another big gas giant okay big Jupiter size as well then the moons so that one's quite like a Titan world actually check that out it's quite a nice looking one looking very nice have a little look underneath it so there it is it's a Titan-esque there got score over here that's one that meets the eye custom trail on there Okay. 
Volcania over here. Very thick atmosphere. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. Check that out. Cool. All right. It's glowing hot. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Right, moving on, we've got Il over here. Quite a lone, uh, lone world by itself. Then we have Nessie, next world out. Another gas giant. Appears to be the last of the gas giants in here. In this uh, system around this star, anyway. Because it looks like now we're jumping on to the next star. So we've got a barrier centre here. Then we've got a secondary star. Okay. Is that everything? Oh, there's a little thing further out as well. Okay, and this is where all the ring systems are. It looks like a lot more custom coloured ones in here as well. So starting off with uh, Erna here. It's very green, almost toxic-y looking atmosphere colour. Okay. There's it stats 91 but no life on it. Okay, it's got a mood as well. So there it is there. Looking good. Looks like we've got Paxson here. Okay, let's have a look. It's very green, lots of greens. We got Hell here. Atomia. That's got a white atmosphere on it, looking good. Very, very nice. We got Delton. Cool. Ghost. Oh yeah, okay. Very, very nice. Argon. Cool, alright, moving on. Next up, we are heading to Eve over here. So a lone water world, okay. Cool. Then we've got Mina. Mena. That's a nice air flight world. So stats on you, they're looking good. 91 and 46, okay. Looking good. Quite a nice, uh, realistic, more looking one as well. I like the colour blending on there. It's got one moon as well. Cool. Next uh, planet out. More of a dwarf planet, actually. There you are. Chilling all by itself there. Uh, hitting its moon. Okay. Then we're heading to this one. It's another another dwarf planet there, so we'll just have quick glimpses of those and we'll move on. Okay, try and get to the interesting bits. Um, and we've got Norsa over here. Gas giant. Lots of rings. It's a very nice looking gas giant as well. Okay. Cool. It looks like most of the moons are fairly basic looking though. Let's see here. Yeah, they're all they're not really customised. So there you go. I think it had lights on it though, yeah. There you go. Nicely done. Looking good. We did the Dina world over there. Then we got Aren here. So lots and lots of rings around this guy. Look at that. Oh yes. Vorderlast here. We've got Verta. Another customised moon. There's a lot of random generated moons all added in here. So there you go. Okay. We've got Lystus over here. Oh, that's a really cool looking one. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's a good looking gas giant. That one does look good. Naquil. Tedite over here. Alrighty. Oh, nice green. Yeah. Cool. Lucaria. Is that got methane oceans? I see that light blue under there. Is that methane? Uh, no. Oh, no, maybe actually. No, never mind. No water on it, so that liquid is definitely methane. Hey, methane oceans. Check that out. Very nice. Okay, cool. Then we got bust over here. Or rust, sorry. Rust, not bust. <laughs> There it is, pretty far out. 
And I think that's all the objects around this one star. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then we've got one more world all the way over here. A very, very far out. So it seems to be a brown dwarf. Check that out. Okay. Got its own set of like, planets. I mean, effectively, if this is classed as a star, these would be called planets, right? Even though it is effectively a gas giant as a brown dwarf. But there you go. So it's got its own uh, planets, I'd say, over here. Obviously, they're in complete darkness because brown dwarfs don't emit light. That's one thing I'd love to see added one day is brown dwarfs actually emitting a very dim bit of light, like hot gas giants. They should, in theory, emit light. Just a very, very low amount. Cool. And then there's a tour right there. So that's the last of them there. And then we've got Aether. Cool. Nice. So that is everything for this system, I believe. Let's see if there's anything further out. Well, that appears to be everything. Okay, so let's line them all up here. Okay, delete all the particles. There's a lot of them. There you go. That's a lot, uh, a lot better. So there's our, there's our lineup. So uh, density, radius. There you go. That's good. So there's a very nice load of customized gas giants in here. So it's quite a nice collection of different ones. I have to say. That's nice. I do like this one here. I think that's one of the best ones. I also like this one here. A little more um, exotic of the colours. This one's cool as well. I think those ones look... I think the gas, the regular gas giants look better than the ice giants in this system, personally. Yeah, they look good. But anyway, so that all said and done. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Delta, for sending it in the system. Really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you for sending it in. And yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think of this system as well. So yeah, you're, I'm sure the creator of the system will be interested in your thoughts and opinions. But with that all said and done, guys, again, a massive thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let's even go for 150 likes on today's video as well, guys. And subscribe for more helps in the journey to 40,000 subscribers. But with that all said and done, make sure you guys all stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.